or graph design, web design, motion graphics, 3D modeling, all that kind of whatnot. Just helps with putting together some of the stuff that we do. Set up stream pictures and emotes and all that whatnot. Oops, sorry, got about them. Probably a good idea to use health before I get too far as far along here. Sorry, my bad. Like I said, dabbled in school, so that's some of the school projects we have for. As I say, interactive media design, something like that involves making an actual game. And then, I'm guessing this is the next dungeon that we'll be heading towards. Need to find Roddy Tops first, though. The game was coded in. Mac Media Director, I think it was. Lingo script. Mac Media doesn't exist anymore, they got bought out by Adobe some years back. Back in the day, then. Code pretty decently in Flash Action Script and whatnot. Flash has been deprecated since then, most because Adobe didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> Bought out Mac Media pretty much just to deprecate Flash. But yeah, animation was another consideration. Back in the day, you had quite a few um, popular web cartoons like Homestar Runner was a. One that we're a big fan of, so that was kind of a thought process and using your degree for that. I mean, I can't fight where that is. Is that one again? Coding is very much the most difficult part of it. Yeah, there are a lot of um, third party things that I do know. Seems like, um, especially Leo. Twitter, because I follow a lot of um, indie game studios and whatnot on there. So a lot of them use third-party things like different pixel maker studios and whatnot that can help with some of those types of things to certain degrees, whether it be the our end or the developmental end. Game engines like Unity or um, Unreal can help with some of that too. Unreal is technically free for indie developers. You have to well, make so much money with it, if I remember properly, to or you have to worry about licensing costs for it. I've never used Unreal myself. It's not been. You can actually reach that one. Yes. I do like scripting better than coding. Sorry. So I was right about climbing through the trees. Yay! That's Saint Firefly. Guess I didn't need to go up there. <laughs> Broke a lot easier than I thought it was gonna. Ghosties. The minimal difference between scripting and coding is scripting is more so what you're telling something to do. <laughs> Have this robot move three 
yeah, have this robot move three spaces forward, as opposed to coding, which involves actually going through the process of manually determining what everything you're trying to describe means. Oops, sorry. <laughs> defining what robot is, defining what movement is, defining what location is, and all that type of thing. Which adds a quite a bit more complexity. Which is where game engines are nice, because a lot of those things, like physics and whatnot, are to be built in, so that's a lot less headache you have to do from a coding side. This looked like an interesting town. Caravan that was mentioned earlier. Hello, zombie neighbor. If you meet Roddy Tops, you better watch your back. I wouldn't trust her any deeper than I could bury her. That sounds rude. Zombie guys are disgusting. They only like women for their brains. You use a flashball or a pike ball? Flashballs are great for destroying distant targets. Pike balls are defense. Our taps has two ugly brothers. Good thing they're all apart right now, because when they're a trio, it's bad news. The bathing wagon just says keep out. Hi, Shantai. Mr. Viper's aching muscles, so the worries away. Sorry, I'm trying to run past you. Talk to people button is the same as the run button. <laughs> Might as well stop by the safe cart since we're walking by. Oof. Happy new old man. Right. It's typically what we usually dabble with. Remember in school on Brotherwood, Monkey Ronda. Flash quite a bit just kind of see what you can get stuff to do. Get a little arcade fighting stick figure guy in a little. Heavy bag dojo thing. Proof of concept. And optimize stuff like that becomes layers upon layers. Now replace that with an enemy. Now replace that single screen with a longer stage. Go around like that. A lot of work goes into game development. See if there's anything. Greedy jars makes enemies drop double the loot. Interesting. Just because I don't have any. Where's the flash? I don't think I have fireballs. There we go. You did need to buy a new health potion, I think about that. We would have enough money for it though. I think it's 50 for the smallest one. Nope, 40, sorry. Just nothing. Of course, the warp squid wagon. Guessing the keep out is where we're headed to then. There's Roddy Tops. Excuse me. I'm looking for a zombie named Roddy Tops. I'm Roddy Tops. Who are you? My name's Shantae. You replied to my question about a magical stone, right? Oh, that. It's called the Simmer Stone because it burns endlessly. Kept deep inside the Cackle Mound by a society of Shriekers. What about it? I need to get to it before something terrible happens. Can you show me the way inside? Me show you? Ha! Are you afraid to ask a zombie for help? I tried to eat your brains. I thought only wild zombies ate brains. Just what you know. Tell you what, 
to have a little competition to see just how bad you want. Win, show you to the Simmerstone. But if I win, your brains become a tasty snack for me and my pals. What do you say, Santai? Want to race? I guess so. Get the story moved along. Now on your mark, get set, go! Sorry, you got the head start for me. Oh, that was a lot of kickback on that. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I slide. That's new. Like just enough time for me to jump over them if I notice it. Sorry, that's not a jump again. Of course, my gut instinct whenever I see an object show up is to jump over it. Pretty sure she's way too far ahead of me by this point, but. Yeah, they just kind of juked right there at the end. It's really hard to jump over. Well, at least she's proud of herself. You try again or calm up those brains. Guess I have to keep trying. Goodbye, brains. I wonder if it's the same course. Duck on the purple, jump over the gray. Tries the charm. You beat me, Dag Nab. Look, Shantai, got passion. I like that. Where you say I help you get that Simmerstone? Promise to keep snacking to a minimum. Sigh, I suppose. Now I'll meet you at the door of the Cackle Mound. Later. They become friends. Doesn't matter, we can circle around anyway. Well, I'm definitely curious what's in that direction. I'm pretty certain I want to head back this way. Use the money I spent on mine. Guess I'll just ignore you. down the climb up. Okay. These slime things. 
No, just get away from me, why? I need some chugging going on here. Alright, should be pretty close to this side of the world. So these are wild zombies, they will eat my brain. Yeah, I like feral ghouls. Well, they sometimes jerks. <laughs> no more jerks than the not. I guess there's not more worse jerks than the last of the raiders that people deal with in Fallout, but 